children, I've got a little story for you. It's called Christmas Eve 2020. Ever since I was a little boy, I looked towards each Christmas Eve with glee, anticipation that my favourite toy would next day rest beneath the Christmas tree. The magic of this day is in my heart. I love this season and all that it brings. When Christmas Eve is over, 12 days start and lead up to the gifts of the three kings. It's all about a baby in a stable placed in a manger many years ago. Though some may think it was a simple fable, that night the world transformed as stars would glow. This year has been so strange and lacking mirth. For some, their lives will never be the same, just like the planet changed with the Christ birth and darkness reignite a candle flame. This Christmas is a time for some reflection, so much we all have to be grateful for. When we with God maintain our soul connection, we shall with angels and archangels soar. So as we journey back to Bethlehem, the little town knew nothing of their fate. The shepherds in the fields were telling them that coming in their midst was someone great. He would transform the world a love so pure, and send out rays of hope to all mankind. He would raise men from dead and lepers cure, would heal the sick, give sight unto the blind. So now we have arrived at Christmas Eve, and we await the holiest mystic day, the silent night where we as one believe, with Christ within, together. Let us pray. Dear Father, Mother, you embody peace. We thank you for all your abundant gifts. We know that miracles shall never cease. We watch in awe as the illusion shifts. We move into a kind world filled with light and send our Christmas blessings far and wide. A new Jerusalem is in our sight as we cross over to the other side. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss.